Dinner on Sunday was supposed to be hot dogs and mac and cheese. My mac and cheese didn't make it to the table. And I will be putting up the review of that product soon, so keep your eye out for that. It's a dairy-free mac and cheese. Um, my husband is having regular mac and cheese, but I'm having a hot dog and we're having some peas. I'm eating what's left of the little one snack, apple, um, since I don't have macaroni and cheese. And then I have some of the dilly beans left over. So that is dinner on Sunday. Dinner on Monday is some beef chili. This has some pinto beans, ground beef, tomatoes, tomato paste, cumin, coriander, garlic, jalapenos, onions. I think that's everything. And then on top I have green onions, cilantro, and some diced jalapenos. And then with it, we're having some jalapeno chive cornbread and also some cucumber slices that we're sharing. Dinner on Tuesday is hoisin glazed grilled pork chops. This is, the glaze is really simple. It's just um, a little bit of hoisin sauce and a little bit of sriracha, just however much you want, how spicy you want it. And then I just put like a teaspoon of water to thin it out. And then the last 10 minutes of grilling the pork chops, I just mm -hmm. slather it on both sides. Mm -hmm. I have some um, sweet potato fries. These are Korean sweet potatoes, so they're uh, just a little bit different. They're still sweet, but they're just a little different. They kind of taste like parsnips, and um, they're a little starchier than the regular orange yams. And then here is snow peas. I put some um, canola oil and also some sesame oil and salt. I also put some sesame oil and salt on the sweet potato fries. Um, but I roasted the snow peas, and that's the first time I've ever roasted snow peas, but pretty much roast any vegetable, and I'm excited to try them roasted. I'm also just having some yellow bell pepper strips for something fresh. That is our dinner tonight. All right, this is dinner on Wednesday. I got some crabs, um, just steamed them with some seafood mix Old Bay, and some corn on the cob. We each have a salad, have some broiled croaker, and that is our dinner on Wednesday. Dinner on Thursday is Caribbean chicken curry. So I have chicken legs in here. There's also some potatoes and there's onions and tomatoes and then a curry blend. I usually use a uh, curry powder that I just buy in a bottle, but I ran out so I made my own. It turned out really nice. Um, I will link the recipe down below. And the recipe for this dish is here on YouTube. The channel is called Caribbean Pot and I will link it down below, um, but it's really a delicious um, curry chicken. and. I make this in the pressure cooker, so it's pretty quick and it comes out nice and tender. And then we're also having some salad. Dinner on Friday is veggie and shrimp stir fry. There's all sorts of good veggies in here. Uh, zucchini, eggplant, onion, celery. Um, there's a couple different kinds of mushrooms. There is enoki mushrooms and king oyster mushrooms. So it's my first time trying the king oyster mushroom. That's part of it's right there. I just chopped it up. Um, red bell pepper. I don't even know what else is in here. I also put garlic and ginger, and then I seasoned it with soy sauce, fish sauce, um, and a little bit of sriracha sauce, and then I'm serving it over some brown rice. Dinner on Saturday is grilled hamburgers. Have some avocado, lettuce, onion, mustard, and sriracha on my homemade hamburger buns, which I have a video on how to make these. If you're interested, I will link it down below. Some grilled zucchini just has olive oil, salt, and pepper and some baked beans. I'm doing a video on how to make these baked beans, um, but it won't be up until the end of May. But keep your eye out for that if you're interested. And that is our yummy dinner on Saturday. Yeah.